Last year, right before they switched to making all their cars pullback racers, the Disney Store released an Apple car. Somehow. Somehow they were able to release the Apple Next Gen, who they dubbed JP Drive. Soon after that, they started to make all their cars the pullback cars, which I really don't mind. Um, but I was never able to find JP on his initial release. I went to the Disney Store last week to look for Frosty and Memo Rojas Jr. and the Radiator Springs McQueen. I was able to pick all three of those up and was pleasantly surprised by seeing that JP Drive is back on the shelves now as a pullback. Anyway guys, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Disney Store pullback diecast JP Drive. So, let's get started with the review. He is on slightly new packaging. Down here is a bit different. The font's a bit bigger and definitely stands out a bit more. We've got the little Disney Castle logo there. Got this pullback racing action sticker here, which used to be a speech bubble, which looked really, really bad in my opinion. So I'm so happy that they changed it to be a speedometer, which is really cool. On the sides, you got your usual Disney Store stuff, McQueen, Jackson, Cruise, whatever. Let's get this guy out of the package and I'll be right back. So here is JP out of the package. And he just looks so cool. But of course, whenever you buy a Disney Store car, you need to be willing to sacrifice something. And that something is quality. Why are the wires here going through the exhaust? Why are they in the exhaust? What's going on? Clearly, they were supposed to be on top of the exhaust and on the side of the exhaust, but nope. The decals on him were pushed over to the left. Oh, and look at that. The decals are literally peeling off. And you could actually see the line where they were attached down there. All right, so yeah, as I just said, you have to be able to sacrifice quality when it comes to Disney Store cars. But still, we've got JP Drive now. I'm making a review of JP Drive. Although, he really looks kind of bad, thanks to the mess up there. But hey, at least it's only the left side. Usually that would be a sarcastic comment where I turn him around and it's like, oh no, the right side's bad too. No, the right side's actually okay. Of course, he's got a confident grin. I really like this expression for the Disney Store next gen. It's where they're making them nice and happy. Um, instead of ridiculously mad. Got his lights, the air scoops there, and the Apple logo, which is reflective, as you can see, it's reflecting my finger there. And over here, we've got the 84, which is also a reflective material. He's got these nice silver wheels there with some red bolts. Got the Lightyear logo, piston cup, oh. Okay, fine, fine, so the right side isn't perfect, okay. We've got piston, unreadable over there. Combustor Arben Iber and Synergy Arben Iber. Arben Iber. Disney Store, this is getting out of hand. Arben Iber. Arben Iber? Are you kidding me? I can't believe this. How could you forget? How could you forget the Carbon Cyber? How could you forget the C in Carbon Cyber? Arbin Iber. Take back what I just said about him looking fine on the other side. Arbin Iber. What is going on with that? Number 84. We've got all these wires there that look very nice, unlike on the other side. And we've got other wheels back there and this very nice wire paint detailing. I really like that a whole concept for him. Got a bit more of it over here. We've got a little Apple logo on the back alongside an 84. And there's the base. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, but before we go, we've got to do the pullback test. Alright JP, let's go. We're only going to do one test with this guy since I don't want to damage it too much since it is an Apple car, although the Disney store damaged it enough. Okay fine, just ram into the wall like that and bounce back, whatever. I know I constantly make jokes about how bad the quality of the Disney Store cars is, but I really like them, and I display them right next to each other, so you're not going to be able to see the terrible, terrible decal appliance on his sides. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to tune in next time when I review Abby Otesta 
the Arvin Ivor Racer. Bye now.